Hello. So, it's been 30 days since my infusion of Rituxin. So I thought I should do another update. And uh, I got a lot to cover, so hopefully I'll remember. If not, Dustin is my cameraman once again, and he will remind me, and if I forget, I can edit it back in. So um, let's see the last update. Um, well, let's, let's talk about um, my uh, physical therapy because I've had two sessions since then. Um, physical therapy, I got a new record of, it was 11 minutes and 30 seconds of standing, side shifting, and then uh, standing in uh, one place, correct posture with uh, John the Neuro Guy and Coach Larry Gordon. So we worked on that. And then the following week, which is this week, um, he like blew it out of the water at uh, 14 minutes, 36 seconds. Uh, my endurance was a lot better. They said that um, my posture was better. I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't sweat as much like easily. I mean, they made me sweat hard, but it, it took a more effort to get me there, but I, I got there, but it was, uh, it was good. It was definitely a good session. Um, Ashley, um, she worked me good. So I'm seeing Ashley, uh, my occupational therapist, OT, um, every other week now. Um, I would like to go every week, but that, I guess, you know, the way they do it, her call. So she sees, she sees more improvement if uh, I go every other weekend. And she saw a lot of improvement. She had me standing again. Instead of putting uh, clothespins, I had to stack these cones and these little... Uh, pill bottles on a shelf uh, while standing using the countertop with one hand and then using the, most of it was my left hand my weaker arm and I worked my left arm uh, so much that you can't see right now but I got these these purple dots I'll put the picture on on the uh, end of the video but my whole arm broke out with the um, the purple prednisone dots I call them prednisone dots I got some on this side got them on the tricep because I was I was working with Ashley and that was her goal is just to push me hard and um, do a lot of uh, different exercises that I can do there that I can't do at, at the house. So she took advantage of that. So that, that's what I did with the OT and, and PT um, the, since my last update. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's um, anything else. We did measure strength, but um, um, I did test my left hand. I can crush a beer can with my left hand now. Uh, probably a couple months ago, I couldn't even do it with my right, and now it's pretty easy with the right. Left hand's getting there, getting stronger. So I'm still working on that, doing my exercises. Um, let's see what else has happened since then. Um, I got some new chickens. I know that's totally off subject, but <laughs> I love my chickens. I got two new chickens. I'm gonna post the pictures. So you can see, I got a, looks like a buff Orpington and a Rhode Island red. So I'll post those pictures on, on this, uh, on this clip here. Um, I saw my neurologist and she was really happy with my progress. She said that, um, basically I got my biceps and my triceps back. I got my left knee, my reflex, right knee, not yet. The left knee really surprised me because, um, I didn't think I'd have the reflexes and um, more um, more control over my face. I guess the expressions. Uh, one, one thing that um, um, we talked about was I've been getting, uh, it, it's on and off I get this blurred vision or double vision because the muscles, when, when uh, my face, just in general, when my muscles are coming back, it gets real tight and tense. And I've talked about it before that cycle. When my face, what happens, it gets tense right around here, around here, around the eye, actually around here, and then on the forehead. But the left side's weaker than the right, so it gets tighter. So when I look to my left, what I'm seeing is, I think my eye can't go all the way to the left, and then I'd start getting this double vision or blur vision. So she, she wants me to go get my eyes checked out, which I gotta call my regular doctor and try to get a referral to make that happen so something's going on with the vision but I'm sure it's, it's gonna pass because you know the CIDP it's you get symptoms and then they go away one day it's good one day it's bad um, but 
you know, I'm taking it as, as positive. So she wants me to see her in January, I believe January 7th. I have to get blood work and then I, after that I will get another infusion of Rituxan. So that will be like six months, I guess, in January. And uh, I just, I have to get the blood work done, make sure everything's good. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that she told me. She was just happy with, she said I'm moving better. She said the, um, my hand motion, uh, when I move, I'm, I'm much faster. Before it was kind of like, I guess, um, shaky or I don't know how she described it. It was choppy. She says now I'm, I move pretty smooth and fast. I, I think that's from, uh, you know, obviously all the exercise, but I think the Tai Chi is helping. And I think the, uh, the Filipino martial arts, we've been doing a lot of drills, the flow drills with the sticks, things like that. And just uh, the Kaji Campbell self-defense and some of the forms that I've been, I've been working in the chair. So I think that's helping. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Anything else, Dustin? Come on, you, you, you're my, the prednisone. Oh, I need to talk about my meds. That's what I need to talk about. <laughs> Since I mentioned the prednisone. You guys probably know by now I hate that prednisone. It may be balloon, balloon up with uh, this water weight. It's just, and then just the um, messes with your head. Confusion, I feel like I'm doped up all the time. I just, I'm ready to get off it. So my doctor dropped me um, 10 milligrams again. So I went from 60 to 50, from 50 to 40. So this month I'm at 40. Next month I'll drop another 10 to 30. And the month after that I'll get to 20. She wants me to stay at 20 milligrams until January till I go see her. And then we're gonna slowly wean me off so I can get off that, that prednisone because it's some nasty stuff. I mean, it, it does some good stuff, but the side effects, I'm, I'm over it. Uh, my other meds, I'm, I'm slowly uh, dropping in dose with my gabapentin and my baclofen. Um, so she said over three days I can make adjustments. So every three days I'm dropping like one pill and then uh, just gonna make those adjustments because the, the, the less medications I'm on, the better it is, I think. So my doctor said, okay. Um, what else? Neurologist. I just talked about my neurologist. Okay, then fish tank fish tank <laughs> oh yeah um, well before I talk about my fish tank uh, I want to mention that I did have my first uh, Kaja Kembo uh, class uh, in my backyard for this month and I got some footage I want to put on here and a couple of pictures it's pretty cool just from the backyard the kids are sparring just so you can see you know what we're doing back here but let me talk about my fish tank so I've got a, a, a small it's a tall 10 gallon fish tank that's in the corner of my bedroom on my side of the bed where I don't sleep, where I haven't slept in five months, because I got, I've got this, um, one of those hospital beds that come up, you know, rises, you can control it with a little remote control. So that's where I sleep. So I don't sleep on my side of the bed anymore. And I can't, I can't access that fish tank. I can't even see the fish tank because when I turn to my left, it's like in the corner. So the only way I can see it if, if I take a picture or videotape it. So my wife, I, I it got real dirty and nasty and I asked her to clean it. And that was my thing. I love to clean the fish tank. She hates it. She doesn't even like the fish. So she cleaned it for me and it was filthy. And then we got these um, these cheap plants at the 99 cent store, but they were real colorful and she cleaned it up, turned out real nice. So now every morning, because I can't see my fish, when she feeds my fish, I have her basically uh, film it for me. So every morning I get to watch my fish eat. It's pretty cool. And uh, she still doesn't like it, but she does it for me because she loves me. So I'm going to go ahead and post uh, at the very end of this uh, this clip here. I'm going to put that fish tank so you can see my fish just doing their thing because it's pretty cool. And if there's anything else I forgot, I'm sure I'm going to edit in. So maybe I can get Dustin do a little, little break dance thing for you guys. I don't know. You feel like dancing? Yeah? Yes, I I think that'd be kind of cool. Then they can see who's this Dustin guy he keeps talking about. So we'll 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 cut to Dustin. We'll get a uh, uh, Dustin on here so you can see who Dustin is, and he'll do a little dance clip for you guys. And uh, we'll end it there. And if there's something I missed, like I said, I will edit it back in. You know I will. So I guess 30 days. Wait, 30 days. It's 30 days after Rituxin, and I haven't even talked about how I feel. I did forget something. You know what? I blame it on the prednisone because I've, I've been forgetting a lot of stuff. Just ask my wife, she'll tell you. It's the prednisone. 
So let me just talk about, let's start from the feet and work our way up, okay? So the feet feel basically the same way as they did last time I, I talked on the video, um, when it was 16 days out, all that buzzing, except for it, it's moving upward into my calves, and I can actually feel it on the, um, with the, the outside of my calves, and I'm starting to feel like aches and pains coming up. So this constant, um, vibration sensation and um, just uh, I noticed after like last night I was my leg was just kind of twitching and uh, the nerves were firing and waking up you know after I worked out uh, with John and uh, coach Larry um, my leg was just like just going just twitching and kicking all night I noticed um, the uh, what are these my quads I'm getting the muscles are starting to finally get come out for, for like five months, no, nothing working out. And now I've got this, uh, this muscle tone coming out. Um, my, uh, my chest this week, just a few days ago, um, for the longest time, I've been just trying to flex them and just trying to do like a, you know, just like almost like a bench press type exercise or butterflies, nothing. And now, now they're, they're activated. I can't actually, I can't, I can't. Twitch them more. Maybe I can't twitch. Now you can't see them twitch out. Anyways, I can flex my chest now. So the chest muscles came back, which is good. And we know the biceps and triceps. And then um, I've got a little bit of flex here. You can't see it on camera. And here. And I've been trying for months to get that muscle to flex. And a little bit of flex there. So that's coming next. Um, and then I talked about the face already and the eyes. So other than that, I haven't had any kind of bad uh, reactions other than the um, that prednisone's messing with me. You know, one minute I'm fine, the next minute I've got these, I don't know, stupid thoughts. You know, I know what the end game is, always improving. The end game is, you know, I'm gonna recover because we found the right medication. So um, let me wrap, wrap this up now because I covered the rituxin. I feel, I feel fine, I feel great. Um, just the aches and pains and just the uh, the water retention um, coming off. Hopefully, uh, you know, when I get 20 milligrams, that's what I read, that that'll make a difference. And then from there, we can wean off the prednisone completely and just rely on the rituxin and hopefully beat this thing into remission. And I'll be back doing Kaj Kembo and bringing up my crew, Spectre Crew. As you can see, Spectre Crew represent. All right, so... Uh, I had to edit this in because I just remembered one thing I wanted to um, add to the video. Um, I think it was about, was it a week ago? Um, maybe two weeks ago. I had the urge to uh, stand on a walker. I don't know, I just felt like maybe I could hold myself up or maybe take a step or two. So I asked my crewmates to, uh, basically I put the gate belt on and get me up and, and spot me and see if I can do it. So they got me up, my wife held the wheelchair, I popped up, um, I got on the, a walker, I had someone stabilize the walker, and I could actually hold myself up. Um, I felt pretty balanced, but it was kind of scary. I, I couldn't take a step, and I knew better, but I just want to get the feel, I just want to see, you know, kind of like where I was at, and it, uh, it felt good, it felt real good to do that, but I'm gonna post that picture, uh, couple pictures of that uh, on the clip here so uh, that's it I just felt like I had to add that in there um, and that's it enjoy the singing. what the singing oh okay Dustin reminded me of another thing I got to edit in um, so I, I, I talked to the neurologist about my voice because it, it cracks and uh, and just my singing I can't hit my normal um, normal range and she said CIDP doesn't affect the vocal cords. So um, my friend uh, Megan is going to investigate and myself research to see if there's um, maybe other things that are affecting my voice. Um, maybe the breathing, something inside, the muscles are, that were, um, uh, directly affect the vocal cords. I know one thing is, um, my diaphragm still gets tight. It feels, in fact, right now it feels like someone's just grabbing me 
around the waist and doing a barrel cut, you're just cranking and squeezing on me. Just and it's it's hard to uh, to breathe and uh, get that deep breath. So I'm sure the breathing has something to do with that. But I don't know my singing voice. It's it's kind of on and off, hit and miss. But I've been singing every day using my uh, my Schmuel, my Sing Schmuel karaoke app every day. So I'm on there if you want to check it out. Ron Zone Zero One. Just like my uh, B Boy channel, Ron Zone Zero One. Um, check it out. You can hear me singing. Go back two years and I sing even better. So, but I'm working on it. So let's get Dustin off this camera. We'll get him in front of the camera and uh, let's see what he's got. He's out. What's up, I'm Dustin. That was the camera guy. And that's Dustin. Circle out, circle out. There you go. Keep them lined up. Keep them lined up. Listen for the break. She said break. Oh, yeah, reset, you guys. Oh, reset, reset. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Come on. Can you fix your gear? I think I'm fine. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Oh, wasting time. Dance. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. <laughs> Keep circling. <laughs> 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Time.